Hi, I'm Richard Lang, and I'm happy to be introducing this new series of Headless Way guided meditations. In these new sessions, I'm going to assume that you have already listened to at least some of the original Headless Way series here on the Waking Up app, which means that you will have done some of the experiments there, such as the pointing experiment. If you have not explored the original series, I suggest you do that before listening to these sessions. This is simply because I will be using terms such as the single eye or simply referring to being headless without necessarily explaining in depth what I mean. I will for the most part be assuming you understand what I am referring to. As I hope you will agree, there is nothing complicated or hidden in this new series, quite the reverse. All these guided meditations celebrate the simplicity and obviousness and indeed utter availability of our true nature. I think the titles of each of the guided meditations give a good idea of what each session contains. And as you will discover, each session stands on its own. So feel free to listen to them in any order you choose. Being aware of and sharing our true nature is a wonderful thing. In these meditations, I'm happy to be walking alongside you, sharing my reflections on the truth, beauty and goodness of who we all really are. So, sitting comfortably, be aware of your breathing. And this meditation is with eyes open. Please look down at your body. You can see your limbs there, your torso, but notice you can't see your head. As you follow your attention up your body from, say, your abdomen to your chest, notice how your body fades out above your chest. What does it fade into? I find it just fades into open space, awareness. I don't see my head above my chest. What is your experience? Are you looking out of two eyes in a head now? I'm talking about what you actually see. Or are you looking out of a single, boundless openness? Your body is like a pathway leading to this openness. So when you look down at your torso, you can start with looking at your abdomen and then move up to your chest. See, that's walking a kind of pathway towards the place you're looking out on. And then, above your chest, the pathway fades out, as it were. And you can step over that threshold into this openness, into boundless awareness. And this space that you're looking out of now just is.
and is wide open, wide open to the world. Now this is a private point of view. Anyone else looking at you from several feet away would see your head above your chest. And uh, you would see your head out there in a mirror. That's your appearance, the objective you, what you are for others, a thing in the world, a person. But what are you from your own point of view, privately, your first person experience? Are you looking out of something? Are you behind a surface, a face? Or are you wide open, spacious? A couple of Zen koans come to mind that point out this difference between one's appearance and one's reality. The first koan is the koan of the original face. So a teacher was asked, in effect, what is one's true nature? Who am I really? And the teacher said, look for your face, your original face, the face you had before your parents were born. Well, anyone else looking at you would see not your original face, they would see your acquired face, the one that you see over there in the mirror, the one you identify with. But you are perfectly placed to see your original face, your no face, your unconditional openness to the world. which I would say you've always been looking out of. The second koan is about Bodhidharma, who was the person who, uh, as I understand it, brought Buddhism to China. So he was aware of his true nature. And the koan is, why does Bodhidharma not have a beard? Well, apparently the person Bodhidharma had a beard. So let's uh, say that you're Bodhidharma. Imagine you're Bodhidharma. And everyone's looking at you, and they can see your beard, they can see your head. So you do have a beard for them. (laughs) So what does it mean? How does that question point to your true nature? Well, Bodhidharma for himself had no beard, had no head, was looking out of his original face, which I would say is the same openness that we're all looking out of, that we all are. As you look down at your body, it is a a kind of pathway that leads to a threshold. It fades out into this unconditionally open spaciousness that is taking in all of your experience now.
and uh, you can notice that you're headless, that you're built open, whenever you choose. We'll start with eyes open, with a headless way experiment that brings our attention immediately to who we really are, our boundless true nature. Please place your hands either side of your face, like horse blinders, or as we say in England, horse blinkers. I know it's an unusual thing to do at the beginning of a meditation session, but it will vividly draw your attention to the spacious emptiness of your true nature, the space that we're all looking out of. So, hold your hands either side of your face, so they frame the field of view. They'll appear huge, like the hands of a giant. My hands go all the way from the ceiling down to the floor. What do you see between your hands? Do you see your face, or do you see the world? I see no face between my hands. Instead of my face, I find a boundless space, full of the whole world. Isn't this faceless space, this space between your hands, unconditionally open to whatever is happening? Isn't it true that this aware emptiness, this formless consciousness, has no preferences? It is taking in the world just as it is presented, adding nothing, taking nothing away. It is saying yes, unconditionally, to what is happening. Okay, lower your hands and close your eyes. You are empty for whatever is happening. Please imagine your own appearance, your body, as if you're looking at yourself from a few feet away. Or you could remember what you look like in a full-length mirror. In other words, be aware of who you are as a person. Your name... your age, your situation in life. Your health. And any problems you might be facing. Be aware that this image of yourself is revealing itself in the boundless space of awareness. As this formless consciousness, you are empty for your appearance, empty for yourself there. This space that you are, this boundless awareness that is taking in your appearance, 
has no preferences. It's neutral. And yet, in a way, you could say that the space is also supremely positive. For it is embracing you there, taking in your appearance, saying yes to you without any reservations. It is welcoming you there, fully accepting you. And now let go of that image of yourself and continue being empty for whatever is happening. Sounds. Sensation of breathing. Thought. Each thing you become aware of is arising in this unconditionally open consciousness and is then disappearing back into it. Take a deeper breath. And open your eyes. I'm going to start today's meditation with a Zen koan. For me, a good Zen koan points directly to one's true nature the boundless awareness at one center, which is nearer to each of us than our own breathing. Here is the koan. How do you step from the top of a 100-foot pole? For me, the message of this koan is that if you did step from the top of such a pole, then you would step into the great void the vast openness of your true nature. So, if you want to experience your true nature, you must jump from the top of that pole. But how do we do this? What is this pole that we must leap from? I'm going to guide you through a headless way awareness exercise that leads you to the top of the pole and then beyond into the void. 
In my understanding, the pole represents your body. So please have your eyes open and look down at your feet. That's the bottom of the pole. Now move your attention up a little and look at your knees. As you move your attention up your body, you're climbing the pole, the pole of your body. Now move your attention further up and look at your tummy. You are now more than halfway up the pole. Keep climbing. Now look at your chest. You're getting near the top. And now notice that there's a line where your chest fades out as you look down at it. You might have the idea of your head somewhere above your chest, but you don't see it. And you can only find the top of the pole if you go by what you see rather than what you imagine. So, as I say, you can imagine your head above your chest, but you don't see it. So that line where your body fades out is the top of the pole of your body. But now the idea is that you don't stop there, but you keep climbing. Move your attention above the top of the pole. Look above that line where your chest fades out, above the top of your body. Aren't you now looking into open space? A vast openness from which you're looking down at your body there. This clear, aware void that contains your present experience is your true nature. Stepping off the top of the pole and seeing into your true nature is as simple as this. You are, in fact, jumping into the place that you have never really left. So, looking down from this emptiness, you see your headless body and the rest of the scene. Now close your eyes. Everything, every form that arises, has the potential to point to your true nature. Be aware of the darkness. Isn't that darkness arising in the transparency, the emptiness of consciousness? In a sense, you can only know this transparent, colorless emptiness by contrasting it with the opaque things that arise within it. The darkness there is given in the emptiness, the lack of darkness, here. Attend to the sensation of your breathing. The rise and fall of your breath. Isn't that movement unfolding, revealing itself in the stillness of awareness? Isn't it true that you can only know the stillness of your true self when you contrast it with movement? Being aware of your true self is being aware of the flow of movement there, the movement of your breath, revealing itself in stillness here. 
one's true self is both a movement and a rest. Is there a boundary between the movement of your breath there and the stillness here? This boundless space where nothing ever stirs. I find no boundary, no separation. There isn't even the smallest gap between void and form. Void is form, as they say, and form is void. Be aware of the sounds that are coming and going. They are appearing in boundless silence. They emerge from the silence and fall back into it. You know the silence by its contrast with the sounds that are arising in it. And now open your eyes. During your day, whenever you choose, Notice that anything you are seeing or hearing or feeling or thinking arises in the boundless space you're looking out of. So, let's now start today's meditation, which is with eyes open. And be aware of the whole visual field, just as it is given in consciousness. And notice how it is most in focus in the middle, and then gets less focus towards the periphery, where finally it just fades out into consciousness, into this open space that you are looking out of, that you are. Are you looking at the whole visual field from somewhere, from inside your head, or out of no head, open space. Isn't your head something in the field of view, if ever you catch sight of it, there in the mirror, in a photograph or video? And if you gaze down towards your body, you'll see your body fades out into this open space, it's headless. So in this sense, you're not in your body, your body is in you, in who you really are, this open, boundless awareness. So I think you could also say that as you look out of this open space, you as this spacious consciousness 
are not in the world. The world is in you. It is you. And of course, you are still aware that for others you are a person in the world. That's your appearance. And you're simply distinguishing between your appearance there and your reality here, which is boundless and includes everything. Everything is within you. And be aware that not only is the visual field in you as consciousness now, that all the sounds are happening in this silence, All the sensations you are feeling are arising in this consciousness. You could say, you're not in those sensations, they are in you. And of course, everything you're thinking and feeling now is arising in this boundless consciousness, which is unaffected, free, open, spacious. Now here is a thought to consider. When I look out from this spaciousness into the world, I'm looking into England from this openness. And you may well be looking into America, France, China, Russia, in our views out, we are different, different nationalities, different languages, but the place we're looking from has no characteristics. Consciousness isn't English, or American, or Russian, or Chinese. I believe being aware that this is so leads to a respect towards others of different nationalities, tolerance, understanding, Because although at one level they are not you, in appearance they're different. And that's true and important. At the level of who you really are, you can say to anyone, I am you. And you can notice your identity with others whenever you choose. 
If you're with someone, talking with them, notice they are within you, within your spacious consciousness. Face there to no face here. Or even if you are on the phone with someone, be aware that their voice is in your silence. In the conversation, two voices, your voice and their voice, in this one consciousness. So let's now start today's meditation. And we'll start with eyes open. Be aware of the whole field of view. As you look at the field of view, notice how it fades out all the way around. What does it fade into? I see nothing above the field of view, nothing below it, nothing to the left, nothing to the right. Or I could say that the field of view is floating in consciousness, is given in consciousness, which has no shape or color or any characteristics, it's empty. And I'm going to use the image of water to represent that space, that consciousness, in which the field of view is floating, as it were. Water, because water is pure, clear, So the space of consciousness in which the field of view is given is like a boundless ocean. And the field of view, everything you can see, is perfectly suspended in this ocean. effortlessly floating there. Be aware that whatever you're experiencing, not just what you're seeing, but the sounds that are coming and going, and uh, sensations, thoughts, feelings, are all going on in this undivided openness. They're all, as it were, floating in this boundless ocean. So now, please close your eyes. And be aware of the darkness there. Isn't it floating in consciousness in this boundless ocean? Just suspended there. Nothing under it. Nothing above it. Nothing around it. And now please focus in particular on your body sensations, which are like a cloud of energy, I suppose. And doesn't this field of sensation also floating in consciousness? in this boundless water, ocean. Mm. 
and feel the weight of your body. Just let that be there, the weight, gravity. And it can help to connect this with the out-breath, breathing out. Because as you breathe out, you're letting go. You're letting gravity have its effect, as it were. So with each out-breath, feeling the weight of the whole field of sensation, And this weight, you don't have to force anything here, just attention. This weight, isn't it given in the weightless space of awareness? In this weightless ocean. Just suspended there. without you making any effort. The whole field of sensation, your whole body, this cloud of sensation is perfectly buoyed up, floating in awareness. Many years ago, I visited the Dead Sea in Israel, and I floated there in the water. It's an amazing experience. And very quickly, you come to realize that you don't have to do anything to stay afloat. You can't sing. And as you float there, the longer you spend in the water, the more you realize you need to do nothing at all, that you don't have to do anything. The water supports you completely. And as you attend to the weight of your body now, with each out-breath in particular, isn't it perfectly supported in awareness in this boundless ocean, floating, buoyed up. There's nothing you have to do. So, with each out-breath in particular, be aware of your weight supported in consciousness. And now, take a deeper breath and open your eyes. And remain aware of your body sensations, that feeling of weight, given in this weightless space of awareness. You can choose to be aware of this any time you like, during your day. If you find yourself sitting for a few moments, waiting, or even standing in a queue, in a line somewhere, waiting, then you can bring your attention to the weight of your body and remember your out-breath there and be aware of being supported by awareness. This meditation is with eyes open. Sit comfortably and take a couple of deeper breaths. and be aware of your single eye.
be aware of being space for the whole scene. Notice how the field of view fades out all the way around at the periphery there into this open space. It's floating there, as it were, in consciousness. And notice that your body sensations are also given in this open space. And any sounds you can hear, any thoughts or feelings, are all going on together in this clarity here. Be aware of your breathing, that sensation there within the whole field of sensation. And being aware there's no separation between this field of sensation and the field of vision. It's all going on together in this undivided awareness. So you can't do this wrong. You're built open for whatever is presenting itself.
individual things keep appearing and disappearing. Sound in the silence here. Sensations in the space here. Whatever you might find yourself looking at for a moment. There it is given in this openness, revealing itself, presenting itself, announcing itself. Whatever you're aware of, appearing in this openness. You're not a thing separate from whatever you're looking at or listening to. You're this open space in which these things are presenting themselves. You're not in this situation. The situation is in you. Always something appearing in the nothingness here. Take a couple of deeper breaths. And thank you for sharing this space with me.